This is going to be called a head sprawl or a head block. If when Coach Lost was up here, yeah. we were working, yeah, we were working this with him. Boom. So the full sprawl, we'll go over later. My legs are back. I'm right here. Or we got our European. I'm right here. They're all they're all valid. I'm going to show you another tool. This is a head sprawl. Similar to our quick circle, but now I'm dropping the two knees and blocking my head. So if Chris is coming at me, don't, you don't need to move. I'm going, going, right up to here. And notice, if I start facing Jarvis, when I do this head sprawl, I'm covering some distance, at least on an angle. Because sometimes, if he shoots low level on me, go ahead. Block him out with a head sprawl, I don't need to get all my legs back. Because from right here, what do I got? A lot of read attacks. I can explode up in. Something Fred's good at, right? <laughs> so while you're doing this head drill, <laughs> pretend somebody's coming at you. So I'm envisioning an attack on my right leg. Right leg. Head sprawl. Now my left. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Rear back. Rear back. Clear your hips. Head and hands go down. Hips clear. 75% turn. Do we land on the shoelaces? I like to land on my shoelaces. If you want to come to toes, yeah. I feel I'm like not mad at it. Like you better reattack. Yeah. Yeah, toes are probably a little better to attack. I just like keep the laces down so nobody can grab the scramble type of stuff. That's a preference. Everybody got the concept of head sprawl?